This video will illustrate how to calculate the economic order quantity, or EOQ, along with the reorder point with safety stock and the average number of orders per year under a fixed quantity inventory system, or FQS. Here's the data for our problem. Brenda opened up a pool and spa store in a shopping mall and finds business to be booming, but she often stocks out of key items. She decides to experiment with some different inventory control methods, including a fixed order quantity system. The 28 ounce bottle of Super Algicide is a high margin skew, but it stocks out frequently. 10 bottles come in each box and she orders boxes from a vendor 160 miles away. Brett is busy running the store and has very little time to review the inventory status and order the right quantity at the right time. She collected the following data. The demand is 10 boxes per week. The order cost is $40 per order. The item cost is $80 per box. Inventory holding costs are 15% per year. The store is open 48 weeks per year, the lead time is 4 weeks, the standard deviation and weekly demand is 6, and the service level is 90%. There are three requirements for this problem. Requirement A asks us to calculate the EOQ, Requirement B asks for the reorder point with safety stock, and Requirement C asks for the average number of orders per year using the EOQ calculated in Requirement A. So let's get started. To solve requirement A, the formula for EOQ is the square root of 2 times D times CO divided by CH, where D is the demand, CO is the order cost, and CH is the holding cost. The data provides us with the demand and the order cost, but expresses the holding cost as a percentage per year, so we need to employ another formula to get help to, in calculating CH. The holding cost is equal to I times C, where I is 15% per year, and C is the $80 item cost. Therefore, CH, the holding cost, is equal to 15% times $80, which equals $12 per bottle per year. Now we can finish the EOQ calculation, where Q equals the square root of 2 times 10 boxes per week times 48 weeks per year times the $40 order cost divided by the $12 holding cost. EOQ equals the square root of 38,400 divided by 12, which equals 56.67 or 57 bottles. The formula for the reorder point is R equals the mean lead time demand, which is mu, plus Z times the standard deviation, or sigma, during the lead time. R is the reorder point, and Z times sigma L is the safety stock. In this formula, the average demand during the lead time is 10 boxes per week times the 4 week lead time, which equals 40 boxes. Sigma L is the standard deviation of demand during the lead time, which is the standard deviation of 6 times the square root of the 4 week lead time, which equals 12. Z is the number of standard deviations necessary to achieve the acceptable service level, and we need to go to the standard normal table for this, where, at 90%, the Z value is 1.28. Now we can calculate the safety stock, which is Z times sigma L, or 1.28 times 12, which equals 15.36 bottles. Now on to requirement C, or the average number of orders per year. The formula for this is D divided by Q, where D is the demand, and Q is the EOQ. The demand is 10 boxes per week times 48 weeks, and the EOQ is 56.6 bottles, calculated in requirement A. This gives us 480 divided by 56.6, or 8.48 orders per year. As you can see, EOQ is a relatively simple but flexible model, which is why it's widely used in practice. 